This is probably the world's smallest YouTube studio. And guess what? It still works. Now you might be able to tell that I'm actually just filming this in the call room of a co-working space. So this is a ridiculously small space and I'm just using some really basic gear. And that's because one of the biggest reasons or the biggest excuses that a lot of people have to not creating videos is that they think they don't have enough space or the right gear to create videos. So in this video, I'll show you not just that you can film from pretty much anywhere, but also how simple and easy it can be. God scared the crap out of me. Don't film in a room this small. Oh, I had a heart attack. Now, obviously this isn't an ideal place to film your videos and this isn't where we normally film our videos, but you really don't need as much room as you think. And the background doesn't need to be as pretty or as polished as you likely think it needs to be as well. The fact that you're still watching this video, even though I'm filming in this location, is proof that the content is more important than what's going on behind you. So if you are struggling with your filming location, I'd suggest that you look for something simple, something that's out of the way and that is more practical for filming than having the nicest or the prettiest background. So it may not make sense to go and set everything up to film in the living room of your house if that's a high traffic area. If you've only got a short time period before wife, kids, family, friends, whoever comes home or comes over, then that's gonna be very stressful for you to create content. You wanna give yourself some space so that you're not feeling rushed creating your videos and also so that you don't have to set up and pack everything up all the time. So the most ideal location will be somewhere out of the way where you don't have to set up and pack up everything every time you wanna make a video. You'll also wanna to try to find somewhere quiet or somewhere where there isn't a lot of background noise or things going on. But also it creates a better video for your viewers watching because the audio is better. They're gonna be able to hear you better or understand what's going on without there being a ton of background noise and kids playing in the background or whatever it might be. Now the most ideal location as well will be something that matches the types of videos you're making. So there's no point filming a cooking video in a gym, unless that's the types of videos you actually wanna make. It makes more sense for you to be doing a cooking video in the kitchen, right? So you wanna make sure that your background or the scene that you're filming in does match the videos you're creating wherever possible. But if that's something that isn't possible for you, then filming in front of just a plain white wall is going to be much better than you trying to set something up and going over the top and procrastinating and then not making videos anyway, or overcomplicating everything so that it is a massive chore for you to create your videos. But the big thing to remember here is that simplicity is really important. If you keep things simple and just focus on the content and creating videos, not procrastinating and waiting until you've got the best camera, the best background, or a quiet day where everything is lining up perfectly, then you're probably not gonna make too many videos or you're gonna delay starting. The most important thing is starting, getting those runs on the board, getting that experience, the practice. And then when you can, that's when you start to build out a nicer background or a dedicated YouTube filming studio. But it's definitely not required straight away. Now in terms of the setup here, like I said, I'm using a really simple setup. I've literally just got my phone on a small tripod. I'm using a clip-on lapel lavalier microphone and I've got one main light that's lighting me up. And all of this is super cheap gear. And this gear actually is something that we talk through in more detail in a video all around cheap smartphone filming gear, which I'll link up in the cards. But nothing in this setup is going to break the bank. Again, start with what you have and upgrade when you can or when you need to. When you're creating a video, the most important piece, aside from the content itself, is the audio. So if you're only buying one thing, you're only gonna upgrade one area, that would be your audio or your microphone. So something like this $15 Boya BYM1 microphone now is probably all you're going to need. It's what we started with with our YouTube channel and still Still use a lot today. Next to that then would be your lighting so that your viewers can hear you and see you good enough. And for this setup here, instead of having the light shining straight on me, I'm actually having it shoot back against the wall and it's reflecting on me. So it's actually a bit of a softer light as well. But again, all cheap and super simple. I'm also just using a really basic, small, flexible desktop tripod just to really hold the phone in position so I'm not having to hold it myself, which also means it's a more stable, more professional looking shot. Now again, if you don't have a tripod, you could use whatever you've got access to. Get a pile of books and sit your phone on the top so it's out of your hands, it's stable, and it's gonna do the trick. Now the phone I'm using right now to film this isn't the latest version. I'm just using the older iPhone 12 Pro, and I'm using the wide angle lens on the back of the phone so that it actually makes the room look 
a little bit bigger than it actually is. So we're able to fit more in. So if you are filming in a small space, a wide angle lens can make a huge difference to make everything look bigger. Now, if your phone doesn't have a wide angle lens, you can get clip on wide angle lenses for your phones that will work with pretty much any phone out there, giving you pretty much the same result. And I'll have links and other related videos to help you when you're filming with your smartphone linked in the description box below. So I really wanted to create this video to show you that you don't need as much space as you think. I'm definitely not recommending filming in a space like this had a heart attack but I'm sure there is a corner in your home in your office in your bedroom that you could use that's gonna be better than this setup here and you also don't need to have a professional camera just your phone or even a webcam is going to be more than enough so now that you've got your YouTube setup sorted setup sorted that's a mouthful if you want to learn how to structure your videos for maximum engagement so that your viewers are sticking around watching your videos then check out the video linked on screen where we show you how to make a good YouTube video and again and don't forget the links to everything I mentioned in this video and other tools and resources to help you with this are all in the description box below. I'll see you in the next one.